I miss it. I think we're at three o'clock, but uh, don't trust my body clock. Quality break, but uh, not, things not going Reyes's way here. <laughs> Keep your eye on the pink four and the orange five. Yuck. That is rotten luck off a break like that, isn't it? Can't possibly now. I would think even unless he can see some sort of safety but knocking the four around the back of the five but he may even be playing safe off of this doesn't want to knock the seven really in but oh uh, he has done though and he's left himself a absolute mess everyone's applauding because they saw the uh, they saw the carom what they didn't <coughs> see was where that white ball was going well that was uh, a strange shot really from Reyes he must have known that if the blue two reached the other side of the table, it was at every chance it was going to knock it in. So why play the safety at the same time? It... Unless he was, unless he was hoping, probably, probably a fantastic shot. He was a bit unfortunate that it did sneak behind there. He, he broke the two balls apart. He obviously didn't play the safety. He just played to break them apart. It was a, a great effort that just was a bit unlucky. And this is a tough escape short rail very hard got to play this with middle not topspin that's a great shot oh. <laughs> well, the crowd find it funny I don't think Reyes will <laughs> thank you I think the the nine ball gods have decided they're gonna have a little bit of fun with Efren Reyes this afternoon. Nothing coming easy for him. And the crowd applauds a, a routine safety as if he's just scored uh, the winning goal in the uh, World Cup final. But that one was worthy of applause. It was a lot better than it looked and um, years of experience went into that escape I know it doesn't look like it but a quality strike of the ball and also even though that small safety shot was pretty easy he made sure that he got it very close to the five made this shot more difficult for Babika Excellent. Has he got a result? Doesn't look. Oh, has he has it stuck its nose out? Nose is stuck out, but there's no chin to punch. Probably try and play a safety behind the eight ball now, up and down the table. Try and leave that br the four in the middle of the table. Although. bit too much on the four but he'd be happy with the result this is where the game becomes um, I wouldn't say a lottery but um, the run of the run of the ball the roll of half a ball if you can see it or not can make so much difference to the rack it's where safety and the tactics does come into play mm. but you can't always guarantee getting a safety perfectly and snook your opponent and that difference is so critical bit uh, short of pace yeah, as he left it unless he's snooked him behind the eight which wasn't the plan the plan was behind the six well he's got to consider himself very lucky there yes yeah, it was a nervous shot from the pole <laughs> not too sure playing thin on the far side of the four balls really what he wants to do here and now be considering going off the side cushion first trying to send the four away from the up the table cue ball back down behind the eight but it's it's a tough shot that so from a mistake from Babika a problem for Reyes 
Doesn't seem a fair game sometimes, does it? He's not had the run so far, has he, uh, Reyes? There's all sorts of strange things have happened in this match. And we're earlier here in the second frame. He doesn't he... like this shot much. He's, he's got to be very careful safety-wise here. He's going to leave Babika a, some sort of shot. Well, it's not a bad effort, that is. He's left him. A, obviously, you can pot it into the top left, but... In knocking that five safe, which pushed the five into a more difficult position. Mm. Another bit of magic that probably went unseen. Yes, because as you say, even if uh, Babitska can take on and make a very difficult pot, that's, uh, that's not an easy one. He's got to get that cue ball in position to uh, deposit the five as well. So this would have to be some awesome shot from uh, the pole if he's to stay in control of this rack. And he's not even going to attempt it, and I'm not sure I blame him. A bit risky, but very well played. You would think it would be nine impossible for Radislav to outplay Reyes tactically. That's one area of the game that he has completely sewn up, in my opinion. This is the thing that people sometimes forget with Reyes. We, we marvel at his potting and, and the things he can do, but he, as a tactician, he has no equal. But that's not the best tactical shot he's ever played. Just a fraction too hard. He had to make sure he drove the ball to the rail. So, some work to do for Babika to send the cue ball all around the table. Three cushions. The possibility of going in off in the bottom right corner, should he lose control of it, would like to be short of that. So not too hard. But hard enough to get past that nine. Is he hard enough? Oh, that was the problem, and not he's not. Nowhere near. He had a bigger area to work with, but he was just a little bit worried about going into that bottom corner, so he couldn't just give it a big belt. Result, out of position. Another safety and a chance for Reyes. Well, at least he should be able to establish distance between cue ball and object ball here. Whether he can get uh, one of those other balls to help with a block remains to be seen. Not easy to get behind this nine without offering the five into the so it looks like he's playing something else. Side to side, safely. I'm not sure here. No, he played the long bank. Aggressive. Very aggressive. I'd have to say, Steve, that's that's an uncharacteristic shot from Reyes. That was that was almost hit and hope for the best, wasn't it? Which is not well, his game. Well, if you look at where he put the cue ball, I suppose there was a chance of safety anywhere up the side rail, but it's... Perhaps he felt that was a, as good a shot as any. But this is cuttable. And an excellent pot. Babika looking solid as a rock in the potting stakes. It's something that when he first came on the scene in the World Pool League, he was a bit wobbly on, was uh, the actual cue action potting the ball. But seems to be stronger now. A more complete player. I don't know if he's hampered by this nine ball. And this would be a test of his queuing if he was to jack up in the air a little bit. This is, this is not a certainty. I know it looks easy, but it's not certain. Again, he's made a not easy pot look very simple center ball striking imperative there and he hit it right in the middle so three cushions once again for the cue ball problems for reyes yeah his game's not quite there at the moment he started off slow against tony crosby and were it not for a, an outrageous fluke when he potted a nine completely by accident He'd have been a long way behind there and possibly out of the uh, out of the picture altogether. Oh, that's a mistake. Well, he overhit it as well, but he didn't have to hit it that hard. 
I know he's bang on the nine, but he could have been shorter. Less power would have been OK. He would have had a shot at it. You know, these pockets may be big, but they're not that big, <laughs> especially when you use pace. Early so Christmas present for Ray. Very much so. Something he needed. Remember, it was this was the Reyes break. Babika had a chance to put Reyes in a deep hole, and he's let it slip through his fingers. Can't play that game against this fella. Reyes gets away with one. One apiece in this race to eight. Two fellas on the brink of uh, elimination here. Radoslav Babika, who had a chance for 2 0, and then uh, made an awful error on the eight. To let it slip away and allow Reyes to level it up. Had a great break last time. A lot of side spin on this cue oh, ball as well. Look at that. You don't really want the spin on. I don't think this ball's going to stop uh, eventually. <laughs> I mean that that was t that was mishit, but still hit very hard. You know, if you'd have caught that in the centre, he would have crushed them. Uh, Should be a very easy rack to run here. It's the kind of rack, Steve, that even a complete novice like myself would have looked at and thought, oh, I might have a chance of that. Yeah. I don't think I'd have made it, no, but you, I would have no, had a no, chance. No, no, you wouldn't have. But, but um, <laughs> you could think that. Exactly. Yeah, I could understand how you would. Exactly. Especially the more you watch, the more you think you're good, don't mm. you, as well? So mm. that comes into the equation and then as you an go armchair on, viewer. And then you go on the table in the pub and think, hang on, those pockets just got smaller. Yes, and also then you realise how good we actually are. Yes. Yeah. It's just we're totally critical when we're in the commentary box, but obviously, you know, the sm slightest mistake you pick up on, but uh, this is top-class Paul at any level, and uh, the likes of Babika are a highly accomplished player, so any criticism we do throw any of these players' way is only judged by the mm. fact this is the World Championship. Yes, it's all relative, isn't it? It's the elite, it's the cream of the cream. That's the words, I was looking for those words, but it, just, it didn't come to me. <laughs> Just about, just about held this. If he'd have uh, had any more pace on that cue ball to the side cushion, it would have made position on the nine more complicated. He can just about trundle this in now and stay on the nine, I think. Perhaps. Ooh, oh no, no, no! This well. is this is not the way to play. Against anybody, never mind Efren Reyes. A bit of annoyance there. And he couldn't hold for position, so he had to play with a bit of right hand spin, which makes the pot that bit more difficult. And gratefully accepting a lifeline, really. The last thing Reyes could afford to do is have a tough game today. And if he does have an easy path because of his opponent's mistakes, That'll settle him down for his more important last match. Well, Babitska can shake his head. He should be 3-0 up. There's absolutely no reason why the pole should not have Reyes in a deep hole. Instead, the magician, to the relief of just about everybody in this auditorium, is 2-1 to the good and breaking next. So, a packed house, as ever, whenever Efren Back Reyes is around. Efren Reyes to break, leading by two racks to one. Even an Efren Reyes that is not firing on all cylinders will still pack him in. Revving up for a break. Pretty firm break. Where's the cue ball going towards the middle? Oh, this is a marvellous outcome for something that could have gone drastically wrong. Cuba was so close to going in the middle pocket, it would have made it as well. And then the, the one got a knock by the seven. Got to make sure clears the seven ball here. 
drawing the cue ball back quite nicely. Would have liked that to have stopped short of the dead straight line for the three. Now he's got to do a little bit of work around the bottom of the table with a bit of spin. Oh, that's a great strike. That really is a great strike. Can, can you play yourself into form in a tournament like this, Steve? You know, like tennis players can often tune up in the first and second round of, uh, of, of big tournaments and, you know, get ready if effectively for the big challenges ahead, or do you really want to start out, you know, with all guns blazing? Well, I think in this uh, format this year, when you've only got three matches, you can't afford to, mm. to be too slow out of the blocks. But it does help if your opponents give you the shots to play yourself into form. Uh, and all of a sudden, this is what could be happening in this match. And you do need a bit of help from your friends. Uh, Efren is the magician. Um, but at the moment, it's been a Houdini act to start this match off. And the help's been from his accomplice, Radislav, who should really not be. Well, he didn't want that to happen. Just about got away with it, I think. It's, it's just not Reyes' pool at the moment. Well, if you're a little bit tight, and back arm's just a fraction tight playing this game, it's all about positional shots. If you don't get the right weight on the ball, a lot of problems can accrue. Back in a nice position now. He always strikes you with his body language as a fellow that's very unfazed by it all. He's a very reluctant superstar. He, he doesn't embrace it. He just seems to be quite happy just to wander around and do his thing. But... The expectation level, as you know, Steve, you, you know, you pick up the paper, the national newspaper, and, and Reyes is, is front page news, never mind hold the back page, he's front page news, and this expectation does seem to be getting to him a little bit here. Well, he's a fierce competitor, he just has, just has to get sort of motivated in the match, and all of a sudden, you see those eyes light up just a fraction.